More people have now died of the virus in Italy than in China. Another 427 deaths have been recorded in Italy in the past 24 hours, taking the death toll to around 3,400. Meanwhile, in Iran, health officials say the virus is now killing one person every 10 minutes there. And another 154 people have died in the United States as the country battles more than 10,000 cases. The United Nations has warned that millions of people could die if the virus spreads unchecked. We are facing a global health crisis, unlike any in 75 year history of the United Nations. A global recession, perhaps of record dimensions, is a near certainty. Queen Elizabeth is urging British people to change their normal routines for the greater good of the community. In a rare first-person message, Her Majesty has acknowledged people will have to find new ways to stay in touch with loved ones. The 93-year-old monarch and her husband, Prince Philip, have now moved their winds to their Windsor Castle residence with the smaller staff due to the coronavirus outbreak. And Prince Albert of Monaco has tested positive to coronavirus. His office says the 62-year-old's health is not a cause for concern. He's continuing to work from his private apartments. We're joined by Europe correspondent Samantha Hawley. Sam, good morning. Things are continuing to worsen in Italy, aren't they? Unbelievable, really. Um, troops are now having to help with the movement and of coffins. Uh, there's a build-up of uh, burials. Like, it's almost unbelievable what we're seeing in Italy. And as you said, uh, the death toll has now surpassed that. Of China, 3,405 deaths. Uh, China sits at 3,245. So what a terrible time for the Italian people. In fact, some people have now said that an entire generation has died in that area in northern Italy in two weeks. So absolutely devastating for them there. 41,000 cases they now have, and they will be extending, Lisa, that lockdown to try and bring this curve down. They just can't seem to bring it down. Uh, so they will extend the lockdown and uh, hope that that uh, might help. And what about in the UK there, Sam? You're reporting to us from your home again. And the mm -hmm. Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, he seems to be giving a press conference every day. Is there anything in his words that's giving people hope? Well, I think a lot of his press conference was about giving people hope today. Of course, yesterday he announced that the schools would close. Uh, people were very worried about that. There were reports that there'd be a London shutdown. So today he has been really speaking in a more positive light. But he has said to people, we need to act together. We need to act collectively with determination. And if we do that, then there could be a light at the end of this uh, rather grim tunnel Let's have a listen, Lisa, to what he had to say. I'm conscious as, as the days have gone by that people will want to know how long we are expecting them to keep it up. And I wanted to try to say something today about how I see the timescale of this campaign and, and where we're going and, and what we, we need to do. And I do think, looking at it all, that we can turn the tide within the next 12 weeks and I'm absolutely confident that we can send a coronavirus packing. Boris Johnson there. Sam, thanks for the update.